feels right, uh, not on an intraday basis, but on a closing basis. It's the uh, lowest we've seen here in, at 277 in a while. You still comfortable with 325? Uh, yes, we are. Look, the, the market is very nervous about a demand for the Model 3 right now and recent actions that Tesla has taken, namely lowering the price, offering the $35,000 version, and then eliminating its stores only to reinstate them shortly thereafter. And so the, the market is concerned about demand levels, and, and last night didn't do anything to alleviate that. The Model Y is not coming for a while. It's been announced quite early, so it could cannibalize things. Um, and they didn't provide any assurances around order trends or demand for the Model 3 right now, and, and hence you're seeing some short-term pressure on the stock. Is it just Tony worries about Model 3 and this new model, or is it worries about demand for all Tesla vehicles right now? Has there, has there really been a significant softening? Um, Certainly in the first couple months of the year, um, there has been significant softening. And that's why I think we saw Tesla reduce prices. And that was not only the Model 3, but also the Model S and X. Um, and obviously, when you, when you reduce prices, that makes it much more difficult to make money. And therefore, the concerns around profitability and, and cash flow for Tesla uh, raise their heads again. Uh, the electric vehicle market uh, continues to grow very strongly. Uh, there were 2 million units up about 60 or 70 percent globally last year. Uh, Tesla gain share had about 14 percent market share of that electric vehicle market uh, last year. Um, and so we think the evolution of electric vehicles um, is proceeding as planned. Uh, the issue is uh, you know, they're still relatively expensive. And, um, and the Model S and X are $100,000, and the Model 3, prior to the price cuts, were closer to 50000 And so to ensure you have continued demand, um, you're going to need to lower price. And, and Tesla's got to find the right balance between uh, demand and profitability. And, and it appears to be struggling with that, and the street is very nervous about that. Right. So given what we know about Tesla and how important scale is to them, what do you tell clients who ask, look, Volkswagen says they're going to uh, uh, unleash 90 new EVs over the next several years, and this standard uh, Y isn't coming until, what, fall or 2021? When does competition really raise its head? Um, you know, I think uh, competition really in earnest for the Model 3 and Model Y uh, begins in about 2021. That said, you know, competition is necessary to grow this market. Uh, the electric vehicle market, as I mentioned, is 2 million units. We think it could be 60 or 70 million units 30 years from now. That's not going to happen with three EV makers. That's going to happen because <laughs> all mainstream makers are going to go and uh, go that way. So even if Tesla's share goes from 14% to 5 or 7%, uh, they're going to sell several million cars uh, years from now. And so I, I don't view uh, competition necessarily as, this isn't a zero-sum game. The market for EVs is growing at 50% plus per year, and, it, and you're going to need more offerings at different price points for that market to evolve in the way that uh, I think it will over time.